Well gone, guys. My name is Jay Kwan. If you're a brand new subscriber, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. You already know you gotta join the Kwan family. All right, you could already tell by the title down below. It's another OC Transpo story time. Let me tell you the amount of things that I see on OC Transpo because I, I don't know, I'm just always there at the right time. The perfect time, I always see everything. You're getting kicked off the bus, smoking on the bus, and you get kicked out. The fights, like I just, I don't know, I don't know. I just end up being in the right spot. My friends always ask me how am I. All right, in the so right let's spot. just get right into it. So I was sitting on the bus, whatever, and always happens at Lincoln Fields. But these guys were, um, these, yeah, this guy, there was a few um, Aboriginal people. They were sitting at the back of the bus, um, and uh, there's also an Aboriginal girl too. So it was. Uh, a few girl, a uh, one girl, and a few guys. So, at, how OC transport buses are set up is at the back. It's a long bus, so it has an accordion in the middle, three, and it has three doors. So one in the front, one in the middle before the accordion, and then one in the back, and then you have the back seats. So how it works is the back seats along the very back of the bus are lined straight like this, and then you have two on the side like that of the bus. So they were sitting on the two sides and along the entire back so there was a few of them because to fill the whole back of the bus there's at least six seven seats there plus on the two sides like you already know that's more than 10 canada and they were already on the bus so clearly they were on the bus from like stittsville so i'm sitting there sorry y'all go hear the dishwasher in the back so i'm sitting there now whatever we get to like pinecrest and i start to smell weed so now these people, they're smoking weed on the bus and you're not allowed to smoke on the bus. So OC Transpo already had like a huge problem with between like Blues Fest because people were smoking on the bus. And if you don't know what Blues Fest is, it's an uh, Ottawa like music festival. So they put stickers on the back windows that you're not allowed to open it. So you can't open the windows and they're smoking in the back and you can't open the windows in the back and they're smoking back there. So the smell took over the entire bus. So next thing you know, we're all sitting there you know, everybody's starting to do that. And you see the driver pick up the phone. So they have a little phone that anytime they have a problem, they can report it. So I saw the driver was picking up the phone. I was like, ah, uh, ah, uh, it's about to hit the fan. That means OC Transpo Police is coming to come big up themselves, right? Because that's what all they do is come and big up themselves. So let me tell you, so they're smoking, they're smoking. And so if you guys know, there's like Bayshore Shopping Center. So they were smoking from Bayshore Shopping Center um, all the way until around, when did the cops get called? The co I would say that the cops got called, at, they got called at Lincoln Fields uh, Station again. So they're smoking from Bayshore Station and then the cops got called at Lincoln Fields. So that's about um, three stops in between to, to Lincoln Fields. And they're not like one, the... The one between Bayshore to Pinecrest, that's pretty, it's close together, but from Pinecrest to Lincoln Fields, it's still pretty far-ish. So they had bare time to smoke up their blunt. So now we see that the bus stops at Lincoln Fields, and then we see OC Transport Police pull up. I was like, Papa Jesus, which means, oh my gosh, in Jamaican. I was like, eh, eh, things are going down tonight. Pasa, pasa, which means drama in Jamaican. So I'm like, mm, mm. So you know me, I, could, I didn't want to record it because they, the security was, the way they came in, I'll show you. So security comes, there's two of them. There's always two of them when there's a reporting issue, sometimes three when it's a long bus. So the bus is like this, right? So you have your front door, your middle door, your accordion, and then your back door, back seats, okay? Because the back seats are really close to the back door. You only have about this much space, which is a lot on the bus, but I'm just showing you. And then it's the back seats. So the driver comes in, stands on the bus like this. Looks dead into their souls. Fam, I'm not seeing their eyes, fam. One came in through the front and one came in through the back and they all just looked to the back like this. I was shook. Fam, for like a dead good two minutes, he just stared at them. So then he goes, he walks up to them and he's like, oh, so I hear you guys, I have a report that you guys are smoking pot back here. And they're like, no, 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 nobody's smoking pot back here. Fam, you can dead, I, I wish I could show you my legs right now, but they were dead ass shaking in the boots. No, no, sir, no, sir, no one's, no one's smoking weed back here. 
You were just laughing and carrying on and busting big laugh two seconds ago. And then all of a sudden, let me tell you, the driver looks straight to this. I mean, the security looks straight to the soul like this. Two tools. You see them shivering in their boots. Yo, I swear they're shaking. And the way this guy switched up his voice, fam. And he's like, no, no, sir. No, 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 no. Um, none of us are smoking weed. None of us are smoking weed back here. But he's like, but the security was like, but I can smell it though. I can smell it. And he's smart. But he's like, he, he does this. He's like, I can smell it though. I can smell it. Going around from the two seats all the way along the back to the side seats. He's like, fam, I can, he's like, I can smell it, I can smell it, I can smell it. He's smart. He's trying to smell who it's on. And he's like, you weren't smoking weed? You weren't smoking weed? And this guy was sitting right here on this side, on the left. You're like, you weren't smoking weed? I could smell it on you, though. Like, he could smell it on that one specific person because he sniffed it out, right? He went all along, all of them sniffed it out. Pulls him off the bus. Walk a shame. Walk a shame. Pull him in his cuffs. Everybody, you see them shaking their boots. Oh, my God. You can see them whispering to each other because security's off the bus now because they don't want to be next, fam. Let me tell you, what I tell you, it's probably, I don't know if you guys find it as funny, but the way this guy was just laughing so hard, they were all laughing so hard, and then the security comes on the bus, they're shaking, and the way this guy was laughing, and his voice did not sound the way it sounded when he told the security, no, sir, no one's smoking weed. I was like, eh, eh. So then I see them pull up a, a police car behind the bus, too, so there's security and there's a police car. So then when you look onto the other side of the street, which is the other side of the station, because remember, from the last story time I told you guys, security like to act up. And Lincoln Fields has three sides. So you have this side, middle, and then you have this side. So you're looking onto the other side. Bear people are starting to watch this man. So you got walk a shame, man. And everybody in the in the bus, one of them had to bring him his jacket and give it to him. He was gone. Then the security comes back onto the bus again, does the look to make sure that they're not gonna do anything. Remember, big and tough. If you watch the last story time fight, no see chance with Lincoln Fields. Big, big sir. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment no down below. Yeah. I've been chilling with my devil playing 2K, and we smoking backwards all day. Yeah.